welcome back to the Tiny Camper Gang channel, everybody. Today, we're going to Moab. So this is where we had lunch today. Somewhere between Utah and Colorado. That was our view for lunch. The camper has taken some dirty, dirty damage. Well, not damage, but it's extremely dirty. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. But yeah, driving through the snow, it's no joke. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun to clean later. The Jeep is just totally dirtier than I've ever had it. But we'll get it cleaned up, no worries. So after a long day of driving, we decided to stop at the Moab Brewery for dinner. We just didn't feel like cooking after driving all day. Throughout our whole journey to the west, we had been eating strictly out of the RV. So this was our first actual restaurant on this trip. So we were pretty excited. While we waited for our table, we decided to check out all the Jeep decorations they had there. So I will say, I am absolutely impressed with this food and Natalia throwing the food all over me. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Super, super good. If you're ever in Moab, give it a try. It's highly worth it. Where are we? We're at the Moab Brewery, right down Main Street, like five minutes from our campground. <laughs> Where are we staying at? Uh, I think it's called Moab Valley, Moab Valley RV Park. So. Yeah, Nat loved her salty, what was it, salty, salty, dog. salty dog, and I got a good amber ale. Both delicious, just great food, great environment. I mean, look around. I would love to say we'd be back again, but it'd probably be a very long time until we come back to Moab, so it's, it's a, a memory we'll cherish. <laughs> the very next morning, we decided to go check out Arches National Park. It was about five minutes from our campground, so super convenient. Over here we have the double arches. Even though it looked quite warm, it was actually pretty chilly. And there was a storm coming our way. So here we are, Canyonlands National Park in Utah. And uh, got a little bit of snow. Not many people out here. <laughs> but hey, we're gonna see this place. Snow, shine. As the day went on, the visibility continued to decrease until we couldn't really see over the lookouts at all. We are at the Green River Overlook. It's uh, too snowy to see anything. And of course, Natalia decided she was gonna get out there and get some photos. <laughs> we'll see how she comes back. I stayed here with the baby and Max. Max, Max. You all right, buddy. Got a stomach ache from all those chicken nuggets. This is what we're dealing with here. Winter storm advisory. There's Nat right there. She looks cold. How was it? It's amazing. <laughs> we ended up going back to camp that night, coming back the very next morning, and we were rewarded with clear skies.
Maybe not 100% clear skies, but we can definitely see over the overlooks now. This was the first taste of off-roading that we got at Moab, and we knew we wanted to do more. Just seeing that view right there, with the snow-capped mountains on the dirt road, just made us want to go even further. That is, until we got to this part here. Then it got a little bit scary. I didn't even know I was afraid of heights until I started driving down this road. But we didn't let that stop us, and we continued forward, finding all sorts of off-road trails. We even found some trails that maybe I wasn't so comfortable going through and had to back out. Like this one. You're about to start going down. Actually, So you could see how steep this was, it was 20 degrees straight up. <laughs> so after that happened, I decided to look up an actual off-road trail. So we went to Fins and Things. Go, go! You know, I had no idea that my Jeep was capable of getting through some of these things. But we were on a one-way, and there was absolutely no way to turn around, so I kind of put myself in a situation where I had to find out, and it did great! Something that also helped me a ton on these trails is I had Nathalia spotting me, and when I saw that it was too sketchy, I would have her and the baby get out of the car, just in case. By no means was this a super difficult trail, otherwise I wouldn't have even attempted it. I knew that it was a trail that stock vehicles essentially could make it down, or at least that's what I had read online. 
a lot of these obstacles looked a whole lot scarier than they actually were. That's the entrance to Hell's Revenge, and since the sun was going down, we didn't even get to try it. I definitely didn't want to be out there at night time. So we decided to go back to camp, sit down around the fire, and talk about our crazy adrenaline rush adventure through Moab, and also get ready for our trip to Sand Hollow, Utah, which is our next episode. We began our journey the next morning towards Sand Hollow State Park at Hurricane Utah. And just like that, we were on the road once again. Alright, so the next time, thanks for watching. Tiny Camper Gang, out. <laughs> <laughs>